Learning about nutrition facts. When you're at the grocery store, just about any packaged food item you pick up is going to have a little rectangle on the back that says nutrition facts. There's a bunch of words and numbers on this thing, but what do they all mean? Today, we're going to find out. Let's start at the very top of the label. Here, we'll find what is maybe the most important thing to look at on here, the serving size. The serving size isn't a recommendation for how much health professionals think you should eat, but rather it's based on how much people usually eat at one time. It's important that you look at the serving size before anything else because that's what all the other numbers on here are based on. Let's say that the serving size for pizza is one slice and that one slice contains 300 calories. But what if you were really hungry and ate six slices of pizza? In order to find out how many calories you ate, you'd have to multiply the amount of calories in one serving, that's 300, times how many servings you ate, that's six. Since you ate six times the serving size, you ended up eating 1,800 calories of pizza. We went from 300 calories to 1,800 calories. That's a pretty big difference. So, speaking of calories, what are they? Well, the number of calories in food tells you how much energy you'll get from eating it. However, our bodies only need so much energy per day. If we eat extra, our bodies will store it for later in the form of fat. We can also use more calories by exercise. The more you exercise, the more energy from calories you will need. If we exercise more, we'll have less extra calories to store us back. Next, we'll move on to the section below calories. These are nutrients. We need to eat nutrients in order to survive and grow. There's a bunch of categories on here. Total fat, saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, total carbohydrate, dietary fiber, total sugars, added sugars, protein, vitamin B, calcium, iron, potassium. Whew, that's an awful lot. Maybe we should sort them into categories to make sense of all of them. Let's start off with some nutrients on here that you can try to eat less often to promote health. This category includes saturated fat, cholesterol, and added sugars. It's okay to have a little bit of these nutrients, but too much can lead to health problems down the road. You may want to stop and think before eating foods that are high in any of these three nutrients, like fried foods, baked goods, or soda. It's okay to eat these foods sometimes. You might want to limit eating them to just every once in a while instead of all the time. Next, let's look at some nutrients on here that you should try to eat more of to promote health. These nutrients include dietary fiber, vitamin D, calcium, iron, and potassium. If a food is high in these nutrients, you should go ahead and eat it anytime. Foods like this include fruits, vegetables, and whole grain products. But you may be wondering, how do I know if a food is high or low in these nutrients? Well, that's what the last tool in our Nutrition Facts Toolbox is for, percentage of daily values. Percentage of daily values is a quick way we can tell if a food is a good source of certain nutrients or not. If a food has 20% or more of a nutrient's daily value, it is high in that nutrient. If food has 5% or less of a nutrient's daily value, it is low in that nutrient. You may want to eat more foods that are high in the nutrients we said we want to eat more often, and low in the nutrients we said we want to eat less often. So there you have it. Now you have all the info you need to get started checking out all those weird little rectangles on the backs of food products next time you go to the grocery store. Thanks for listening, and good luck in your grocery store adventures.